Real quick, we've been shooting so many ducks, we're gonna give them a fighting chance today. You can honestly, you can see about an inch of dust on this thing. This is an original 1999 Mojo duck. We're breaking her out for the deep water. She's got about a 10 foot line on her. We named her Tasty Lacey. Stay tuned. You know, we get a backwater, um, and we knew it was gonna be good. Sunny, windy, great group of clients in town. Got to take my buddy Sherfield on this hunt, and it was pretty cool. He, he'd never been over here, so uh, we had an open hole, and I called and invited him to come help. Previous to this, you know, we had been dealing with, you know, the, the big freeze, uh, a lot of cold weather in that last episode. And so right after New Year's comes, and uh, we got two or three inches of ice at this point. And finally, a big rain comes, big south wind, big warm up, and uh, ducks are back just like that, snap of the finger. And uh, on top of this, we got a river coming. Uh, everybody's watching the river gauge. The river was already at 20 foot. We knew we needed just a, a few inches just to get that thing out of its banks. And uh, you know, Eagle's Nest is the first place that the river backs up. Ducks know it right away. And uh, so, you know, everybody's excited. How we do a little picking? What's up there, boy? Howdy. What's up there, boy? <laughs> Got to calm the decibels down today. Back down to this this morning. River's out. Cold weather's here. Let's go, Parker! Woo! Yeah! Everybody's excited. We got ours yesterday. It was a damn good hunt. We're going to go back in there and do it to them again. Just try to get in the set. Shoot across hey, the hey, road hey, in the spillway. Can't you prop it up and put something under that back plate? When the river comes up, you, you've got to get your together. You, you've got to get your blinds in order, get everything picked up. Life jackets to bring out there for the boat. Uh, new decoys, because you got to have longer lines. Uh, it's always just a mess. The boats are actually tied up, which is a good thing. Anyhow, it was a cluster of a morning. I think we broke a Can-Am track. Takes a little time, but the first day the river's out, it's always a mess. So we need to take that. So you didn't put We left those in this boat for three if we needed them at three. Because we thought 60 boys might still reach. Imagine six boats lined up, uh, eight, ten guides, uh, everybody going in different directions, 16 clients. Not everybody. Not everybody. But uh, at the end of the day, we always eventually get it figured out. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get it set up. I'll show up here in a minute. It's gentleman turn. So. <laughs> gentleman. Today we got sunshine. Wind's already blowing. Ducks are already back here in the woods where we're hunting this morning. It's going to be special. Y'all stay tuned. Key to success is a tall ass mojo pole. Gentlemen, he said. Look at that beautiful freaking day out there. What a deal. <laughs> Hey, right. so yes, this is going to be a great <laughs> day here.
Kill him. Kill him. This was probably my favorite hunt of the year. Um, we shot, uh, I don't know how many ducks, but we shot a lot and we didn't shoot a duck that wasn't perfectly feet down over the decoys and uh, it was sunny and windy and boy, did they get close. Our buddy Kevin Tyne had his family and uh, business associates in town and he was with me, the other half was with AJ and uh, boy, did we have a hunt. Um, it was about as good as it could good as you could ask for. When the river's out, it just it presents so much more water to the ducks when, when they're flying that river. And, uh, you know, just, just tons more traffic. And on this day, we we're right on that line. It was a gorgeous day, had fresh ducks from the south, hungry ducks, stupid ducks, and we had good, good food in the blind. Uh, fortunately, we didn't have to hear blind six shoot because it was a hard south wind. But for the rest of the day, uh, our crew, I don't know about blind six, but our crew was having us a day. Ain't nothing more miserable when they're coming in and somebody can't hit them. You see them all them <laughs> Okay, so we got seven mallard drakes and one hen, and uh, they were chasing hard, and I'm like, oh, this is a waste of time. Well, all of a sudden, this hen just decides she's gonna come in and light, come in and get in the decoys, and well, as most of you know, all seven of the mallards did too, and uh, mallard drakes did too. We killed all eight of them, and I got pretty excited. everybody in the blind was pretty excited it was a phenomenal hunt just as good as it what gets a deal. Dude. What a
Anybody want to give me some calling tips now? It's good to go out with a bang like that on a on a hunt, you know, that was already spectacular. But man, it, that old hen and heat sure did make top the hunt off. So here we are. Enjoy it. Gentlemen, <laughs> gentlemen.